Hey everyone, welcome back on the channel. Welcome back to another uh, earlier 2 FSR 3.1 video. So, I have managed to decouple the FSR 3.1 upscaler from the FSR 3 frame generation. So, now you can use DLSS if you have RTX card, and you can use FSR 3.1 uh, XCSS and FSR 2.2.3, which is a new addition which I will talk you. Uh, when I install the mod and show you everything so first thing first uh, you have to set some in-game options in order to make the mod work so let's go to the graphics and in here uh, make sure windows is set to borderless full screen sometimes it doesn't work uh, vsync triple buffering everything should be turned off dlss fsr should also be turned off you can use taa medium or high that's based on your preference and after that graphics api should be set on directx 12 this is highly uh, required uh, the mod is not supported with vulkan so yeah these are the in-game options you need to set before uh, installing the mod and this is the setting right now i'm using as you can see uh, it's a mixture of uh, medium and high maybe i'll set this shadow on medium because i don't like low so yeah i'll show the fps a little bit before installing the mod for a few seconds so the fps in this wild open area is uh, right now around 50 to maybe sometimes reaching 60 yeah it's pretty low uh, in my opinion on an rtx 2060 so yeah let's begin the mod hmm the wallpaper is distracting i know uh yeah i'll change it wait a second okay now we are better so i'm gonna do this video with the mod optiscalar 0.6.5 preview 4 which just released few days back and these are the change log on your screen right now the change log is so huge that i could not fit it in uh, one screenshot so yeah feel free to pause the video or maybe zoom in or take a screenshot so yeah after you done uh, it's very long so i'm not gonna give you very much time uh, you can just pause the video and so, yeah now let's get back to the mod installation so for this video i'm going to use this uh, rdr2 fsr3 uh, dash dash uh, 1419.50 and optiscalar uh, 0.6.5 uh, preview 4 so we're going to extract both mod to the folder now we're going to go to the installation directory as you can see here the version which i'm using this is the other version so we're going to paste uh, everything from these two folders to the games installation directory like this is the fsr3 mod it's pasted now we're going to drag the optiscalar preview 4 dragged so there is a uh, very few tweaks needed like uh, there is no tweak needed at starting of the game but uh, i will show you everything once i go into the game so yeah let's get inside the game no tweak is here needed so yeah let's get inside the game now the new list of prices for offline activated and rental games as you can see on your screen right now feel free to pause the video at any time and select your games then come to discord and send message to the cheap games buying channel or just dm me all right we are back inside the game in the same area fps is still around the same like 50 to 60 so what we need to do now is uh, first go to the setting graphics and uh, you will be able to see the dlss now like this is not the actual dlss you can see the ultra quality here so it is the fsr which is taking place in effect but uh, this is needed for the mod uh, then we will switch to the actual dlss with the tool which i will show you in a bit so yeah let's apply this uh, dlss first apply go back to the game the basic frame rate will be now boosted but uh, the upscaler is not yet switched so yeah you can see the mod is now working the fps is now boosted and now if you press the end key uh, the old fsr 3 uh, frame generation will come on the screen like you can change the frame generation enabled disable like if i disabled it the fps gets uh, lower if i enabled it the fps gets uh, higher you can also change the hood like if you disable the hood will flicker everything from the previous mod uh, but do not change the upscaler from here 
because uh, we're going to do it from the optic scale menu so yeah press end and close this menu and now press ins slash insert button so now the new optic color menu will open up on your screen this is the preview 4 version so in here uh, you can now select fsr 3.1 dlss fsr 2.2.1 along with that one extra option is here which i will show you in a bit so first uh, i'm going to set try the xcss also and on xcss uh, you can see it's still working but uh, it's a little bit smoother so let's switch to the the fsr 3.1 and after i click i apply on the fsr 3.1 the hood will get hidden then you press again insert and you will see a sub menu has now appeared like in here you can now select between fsr 2.3.2 and fsr 3.1.0 this is added in the latest build of uh, of the scaler so yeah i'm gonna just uh, give it a try fsr 2.3.2 and click on apply uh, it's a little bit sharper in my opinion and it's close to fsr 3.1 but there is a little shimmeriness in those trees uh, i don't know if you can see it. Uh, the trees over there when i move my camera a little bit but when i stay still there is no shimmeriness or no anything uh, it's a little bit better but uh, yeah you can also see maybe a little bit of ghosting around arthur's hat uh, here and there uh, but yeah you will have to live with that uh, but if you have an uh, rtx card you can just plain use the dlss so yeah there's that so yeah enjoy this uh, two new uh, upgrade of uh, xcss oh wait 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 i don't mean to kick you dodge okay. so yeah enjoy this uh, new update of the OptiScaler. and uh, if you face any kind of issue you can comment down below and yeah uh, don't forget to subscribe the channel uh, join discord for any additional info and i'll see you guys in the next one until then cheers